In today's episode, we're going to talk about what you're doing to earn your investors' trust. Specifically, in this in this episode, we're going to talk about confidence. Stay tuned. Welcome to another episode of Same Page. I am Lena Semejis, and this is my lovely wife, Sarah Semejis. And today we're going to discuss what are you doing as a real estate investor to earn other investors' trust. More specifically, we're going to talk about confidence. And by confidence, I mean the confidence that you're exuding when you're approaching uh, your investors with, with with a particular deal. Mm -hmm. And I think there's several ways that you. Um, build confidence it is not mm -hmm. something that just comes naturally a lot of times as new investors you're you're very nervous and yeah. you're like um is this a good deal and your your thoughts start telling you that um nobody's gonna want to invest their money with you right mm -hmm. so how what are some ways that we have built confidence or other people can can do the same thing oh uh, the most simplest way that, 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 that like off the top of my head is just by actually taking action and doing Mm -hmm. So there is a lot of confidence that's built from gaining experience, actually getting your feet wet and actually doing certain certain things. So like for us, we actually bought properties. Yes. We actually property managed some properties. So getting our hands dirty and, and doing doing things that are real estate uh, real estate oriented um, gives us more confidence when we are when we have certain conversations with potential investors. So that we can, so so we're so we're basing all of our information from obviously from part of it is from is from the, the, from the knowledge that we've taught, but a, a, another portion is from the actual experience that we've gained through owning these properties. And I think um, now we live in a world where obviously there's YouTube, there's social media, and everybody looks like they're winning. Mm -hmm. Everybody looks like they're super confident and like. They did a flip and they made so much money or like their flip looks really good. But not a lot of people shows like the process, right? Mm -hmm. um, the first time you talk to an investor, you're going to suck. The first time you try to raise capital, you're going to suck. Yeah. The first time you um, try to convince a seller to sell you their house, you're probably going to suck. And that's fine. Everybody sort of start, starts off this way. You just don't see that process. Mm -hmm. So... Keep in mind that your first conversation is maybe not going to be good, but your second one is going to be better. And the third one is going to be better. And the fourth one is going to be better to the point where um, you're going to have enough confidence to say, okay, well, I've done this X amount of times. Mm -hmm. I've talked to so many sellers. Um, I've visited so many houses. Mm -hmm. um, and now, you know, you feel more confident about like what you're analyzing and analyzing your deal. Um, so it's very important to just start doing. You're not going to be an expert um, right away. Mm -hmm. Les Brown says anything that is worth doing is worth doing badly at first. Exactly. Because you, you don't know how to do it. And nobody does at the beginning. You just have to start um, taking action. Exactly. And to add on to that, uh, one thing that at least that we're not necessarily taught at a very young age is that People are a lot uh, for a lot of a lot of people are afraid to actually make mistakes, but actually you gain so much knowledge from your failures. So uh, there's always lessons to be learned from these failures. And if you can take your way, take yourself away from that situation, no matter how you may feel at the time and, and kind of take a look back and, and say, like, OK, well, where where was my misstep? Where did I go wrong? Uh, was my analysis wrong? Um, was this was this not the right the, the right time to buy or to sell in this particular market? There's all these different variations, and if you can uh, actually analyze that failure, there you can definitely draw some less, some lessons from it. Mm -hmm. And um, I know today we're supposed to be talking specifically about how to get your investors' confidence in order for them to invest with you. So oftentimes. We doubt ourselves that if this is your first deal and you're raising capital, you're mm -hmm. talking to an investor, it might be very um, nerve wracking to be like, I've never done this before. Mm -hmm. And the person obviously is going to be like, well, you've never done this before. Like, why would I trust you with your money, yeah. um, with my money? And I think the answer is, um, well, I've looked at 100 um, deals. I've walked through 50 houses. Mm -hmm. And these are the reasons that I didn't 
buy or invest in these houses or I didn't bring this deal to you because um, the, the, it wasn't enough cash flow or, you know, um, there was plumbing issues and I knew that that was going to cost too much along the, the way. There's a lot of reasons that you can show them, Hey, look at this deal that I looked at. Um, I didn't bring this to you because this, this reason, this reason, this mm -hmm. reason, look at this other deal that wasn't good, but this deal that I'm bringing to you it has all these things. It has the cash flow. It has the appreciation. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, the property either is in good shape or not in bad shape, but you're, you are, um, encountering, you are making sure that you include that in your numbers. So by showing them the process, um, I think they start, um, you start having confidence mm -hmm. and they may want to invest with you because they see, Oh, you know, you, you're not just bringing me this, the first deal that you see, yeah. you've actually put some work into it. Um, and, um, now I can see that this is a good deal and why. Mm -hmm. Another way that you can, you can build uh, confidence is like building it through association. And by what I mean by that is either by having a mentor or getting coaches. Um, so when you're, when you associate yourself with other like-minded people that are doing the same thing as you, you can't help it, but for it to, to, to raise your level of confidence. Um, and then this is, this is also something that you can, um, as Sarah was alluding to as, as part of your, uh, your spiel, as far as how you're going through the process, you can add on, you can tack on the fact that, oh, by the way, um, I'm, I'm, I'm currently getting mentor, uh, mentorship from, uh, a fellow real estate investor who has X amount of doors, who's been doing it for X amount of years. Uh, and then you, and then you can say, I'm actually, in, uh, investing in, our, in myself by paying a real estate investor coach. Uh, who has experience in either this industry, uh, this market, um, and has uh, a portfolio that has X, Y, and Z. So by associating yourself with certain people, that could add to your lack of experience and at least gives, gives, uh, it'll give confidence to those potential investors that, okay, well, he's not, he or she is not doing this on their own. They're, 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 they're getting their, their, um, they have a good support system who is basically sourcing them with lots of, in, lots of valuable information and years of experience that could help you provide the best deals to these investors. Mm -hmm. that's, that's really well said. Um, one last, uh, way that I, that I think that you can build your confidence. If you're really struggling, you know, you've looked at houses and you've looked at, deals and and you try to raise capital it hasn't worked and nobody has confidence in you i think one way to do it is to hop in and then deal with somebody else mm -hmm. and give away your time you could say hey um you know i don't have any money i'm i want to learn and um by learning i will be more confident to be able to do it myself can i get in on this deal and you can show them like what what are the things that they're gonna you're gonna do for them in this deal right mm. um whether you're gonna actually put sweat equity do you have some skill that you could use in terms of um renovations and things like that um or just like walking through um looking for deals for them so that the next deal that they have they could say okay you know what you've helped me then you can hop on this deal with me there's a lot of ways to you know, um, hop on a deal with somebody else that's doing a deal without necessarily having money, mm -hmm. um, to learn the process, but make sure you, you're helping them. You're giving them value with maybe your time, uh, probably your time if you don't have money at first to really show them that, okay, um, I'm going to help you so that, you know, in return, they can help you build that confidence by watching the process. Exactly. I love, I love that point. And like, that's something, especially in, in, in this society that people don't do enough of. It's like, like, as Sarah was alluding to, you, uh, like, if you don't have the money, then you have a lot of time on your hands. And, um, I, I know of a couple of people that, that, um, have given their time in order to learn a craft and then eventually paying that sacrifice at the beginning. Um, and then eventually being able to be an expert at whatever field because they dedicated a certain amount of time, um, to that craft yeah. initially. We get a lot of calls um, or a lot of um, messages of people saying, oh, you know, can I come in the next walkthrough with you and whatnot, um, which we're happy to do sometimes if we can. It's sometimes really tricky because the timeline, um, 
you know, sometimes it's like, hey, this afternoon or tomorrow morning, mm-hmm. and we don't have time to schedule all these things with other people. But um, if you're trying to help and you want to come on a walkthrough, but also propose something that you could do for that person exactly. um, so that they can um, partner with you. It's not just like take, take, take. You want to give, give, give um, before you take, right? Mm-hmm. So. All right. So that was the first part of how to earn your investor's trust. And today we talked about confidence. So thank you for watching this episode. Stay tuned for the other uh, uh, the other parts to this series. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and continue to watch us.